to explain the root of lung as I have taken the right lung. So this is the root of right lung. In this we can see that this, this is the lumen of superior pulmonary vein and here this is the lumen of inferior pulmonary vein. So these are the two lumens of superior and inferior pulmonary vein and these are these have thin lumens. Now this, this big lumen is known as a uh, lumen of pulmonary artery. This has the thicker wall and above the lumen of pulmonary artery the two bronchus are present. One bronchus is here and other one is here. See how we can identify that these are the bronchus. These have cartilag cartilaginous wall. These are the thick and cartilaginous wall. So the above bronchus which is situated here is known as ap arterial bronchus and the below bronchus is known as hype arterial bronchus. So superior pulmonary vein, inferior pulmonary vein lumen, pulmonary artery lumen, ap arterial bronchus lumen, hype arterial bronchus lumen. Now the impression of the right lung. So above the root here is the impression of right ajigus vein and this is the impression of superior vena cava and here is the impression of inferior vena cava and this surface is known as cardiac surface which is related to the and this this is the cardiac impression which is related to the right atrium of the heart. Uh, above the root uh, some structures are also related above the root anteriorly is the structure of trachea and posteriorly is the structure of esophagus related to these and in relation with the root in front of the root here is the right phrenic nerve and behind the root here is the right vagus nerve mm. and at the apex here is the right subclavian artery. Right lung in relation with the root antero posteriorly the most anterior structure is the right pulmonary vein then this big lumen right pulmonary artery and this is the right bronchus. Now I am going to explain the root of the left lung. So this is the left lung and this is the root of left lung. Here the most anterior structure is the this this one is known as left pulmonary vein superior left pulmonary vein and this is the most inferior structure which is known as inferior pulmonary vein and below the inferior uh, below the inferior pulmonary vein this is the pulmonary ligament now behind the superior pulmonary vein this thick walled structure, this lumen is known as pulmonary artery and here these are the thicker walled structure which are cartilaginous and these two known as left principal bronchus. So in relation to the left lung antero posteriorly anterior most structure is the uh, superior pulmonary vein then pulmonary artery and then these are the two left principal bronchus. Now the impression of the left lung. So above the root of the lung this this impression is the known as arch of arota and from here to here this is the impression of descending thoracic arota. The above apex relation of the, uh, these two structures are present here. Anteriorly is the structure of trachea and posteriorly is the structure of esophagus and the descending thoracic arota below here is related to the esophagus. So in front of the root this is this this portion is the uh, cardiac impression and it is related to the left ventricle of the heart and in front of the root here is the impression of the left phrenic nerve and behind the root here is the impression of the left vagus nerve. And the last thing about left lung is the this oblique fissure. 
left lung has only one oblique fissure so this is the demonstration of lung